The one thing that you notice is that ambulance didn't take off, code three as they would say in the business, right? With lights and sirens trying to get them to Grady. So there was no actual threat of life there. But what we did see, and this is to the left part of the screen, that officer has walked away. He had his shirt off, right? And it, it appears that one of the officers had an injury to his right, the right portion of his chest. You can see a little bit of blood there. Obviously, that probably was not a gunshot wound or else he would actually be in an ambulance headed that way as well. It could have been part of the tussle, you know, because they said that they went in there quickly, got the guy in handcuffs, took him downstairs. He could have been injured, not seriously injured, just with the tussle with, um, with, the, with the suspect. The other thing is normally they will bring in a negotiator, the guy's not giving up, trying to get him to calm down a little bit, try to get him to de-escalate the situation. But just based upon what Cody said and his interaction and speaking with some of the witnesses, they just went in there and they just got the job done. They just hopped on the suspect, put him down on the ground, put cuffs on him, and got him down, um, down to the street, possibly in that ambulance that's rolling away right now. All right, Ron Jones, thank you so much for that perspective. Again, you are seeing uh, that ambulance is now gone. That was there. Um, but again, this is a live picture right now where we see some of the law enforcement. And we're so grateful, Faith, for all of the law enforcement who were there today. As you said, uh, they prepare for situations like this. You never know exactly what is going to unfold. Today was certainly frightening with the just sheer amount of gunfire that was happening and the distance and, and happening from above, putting so many people in danger. But let's hope that this was all able to end without anyone being hurt. And as we're taking a look at this live picture here, it seems as if one of these roads might be back open to get some people out of the area. We did see that ambulance pull off with a police cruiser right behind it. Um, so that might give us, you know, some tea leaves into what be, might be going on here. However, we will get, we don't want to assume anything. We want to get the confirmation from officers. We also see some members, I believe, of SWAT or APD with their long guns here. Um, you can see the uh, microphone there. Uh, presumably, it could have been what they were using to try to negotiate with this suspected gunman. Um, but certainly but, no ahead. longer that sense of urgency that we were seeing right. earlier when the uh, gunfire was happening. Again, in case you're just getting home, we are awaiting a news conference from Atlanta police where we will be hearing hopefully more information about what happened today. 